So we got our boxes, and you're going to want to remember each of these. Double click on the button, and there's our code. Okay, so now comes the interesting part. So what we need to do is, is um, basically we need to um, try to get some information, and if we can't get it, um, then we're going to have some trouble. So when we click on Calculate button, we're going to set a couple variables for, for this. Um, one, we're going to set a um, series of double precision floating points. So BMI is one. Um, we're gonna now we're gonna get text. Um, let's do one. It's gonna be weight, and then let's do a feet, inches, and height. And the what's gonna happen is the feet are for how many feet, the inches are for how many inches, and the height is gonna be the total inches. Okay, so those are our variables we need to process the data. Um, and then we're going to have two more um, two more data. One uh, is a string, and that's going to be results. And I'm going to go ahead and initialize it and set it to a, an empty string. Okay. And then the last one is a boolean bool. And I'm going to call it is valid. And we're going to set this to true. And um, the idea here. Is the is true is valid is a form that is valid um, is actually let's just go ahead and comment these so string results results of the uh, attempt to yeah attempt to um, calculate BMI. Move that over a little bit. Uh, is valid is true. Is the form valid? Not empty in number format. And you might be thinking, well, wait a minute, the form is not yet valid. Well, we're going to assume it's valid until they prove us otherwise. So we're going to do a little bit of, we're going to do some error handling. I'm going to try to parse the data. Let me just go ahead and do my if structure. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to convert the text box um, for the weight into a double precision floating point. And um, so with any data type, you have this double dot and it's try parse. Well, the number that is. Okay, so in the try parse, actually, let's go back here. Let's do the try parse. To put here. So basically, we pass it a string, okay? And a string is is we wanted to see is that an actual number or is it text? If it's text, this try parse is going to return a false, okay? And so we're saying, will that return false? If it is, we want to do something about it. So that's why we're saying, if not, try parse. So if we're not able to parse the text, let's go back to the try parse one more time and show you that um, basically. If you pass it a string and you're successful, guess what happens? It's going to output into whatever variable you stick there. It has to be a double precision variable because it's double try parse. So we're going to put um, that was weight box. So there it is, weight box, comma, and now the result should be in weight. Uh, hold on, caps lock was on, weight. Okay. So if when we try to parse it, let's see what it does. Conversion. Oh, okay. Weight box dot text. There we go. So I'm going to try to parse the weight box dot text. Some invalid arguments. What are the invalid arguments? And it doesn't like that. Gets or sets current text. Oh. <laughs> doesn't like that either. Crap. You didn't hear me say that. Of course, here's what the problem is. Out. Wait. 
So I forgot to put out because that means output the weight. Okay, so now if we're unable to uh, results plus equals, then we're going to put please enter your weight. Actually, I'm going to put a new line here, backslash n, in number format. Okay, so we add that to the results, and now oh, we need our semicolon. <laughs> Backspace and is valid is actually now equals false. So if any of these don't work, we now invalidate the form, and that's all you really need. There is no need for an else because um, that way, if this one triggers it, it's going to be false. If the next one does, it's going to be false. Now, of course, uh, I'll go ahead and just type it out. Notice how um, it's a little bit easier now so we'll put uh, feet box dot text comma out feet see how much easier that is now results plus equals please enter your feet in number format is valid equals false. Okay, you see how that's, e that's working? I typed it out. Who needs to type when we have control C? Control V for paste. Copy, paste. So feet box, let's do inches box. Out inches. Inches in number format is valid equals false. Okay, so let's try parse. Um, that goes through our weight, feet, inches, and now we're going to um, check to see if it's valid or not. Is, I'm sorry, is if <laughs> is valid. Now I don't know if I need an argument here. I'm going to try just if is valid. And it doesn't like that. Oh, no, it does. Okay. So that's a little bit of a shorthand. We don't have to say if is valid is equal to true. Just it's if is valid. And then we're going to do an else. Okay. So if it's valid, then we're going to calculate BMI. Uh, let's first of all calculate the feet. Uh, sorry, calculate total height inches. Uh, I'm sorry, height equals, and this will be feet times 12. And we'll put, um, oh, feet times 12 plus inches. Okay, then we'll calculate the amount. And we'll space that out a little bit. BMI equals. And then I believe it was weight divided by. Now we're going to use a little math. When you get the power, I'm going to take its uh, height squared. Height taken to the second power. So we're going to divide weight by height taken to the second power. And we're going to multiply all those answers by 703. Let's double check to make sure calculation is correct. And let's put a little BMI. In editing, we can skip this part. BMI formula. A little Google search. And let's just go to like a really reputable site. Okay. So I've been to three of these. I'm going to go to Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Of course, the idea here is it's used to see what your danger or your risk of obesity is. 
And here's the formula, weight divided by height squared times 703. And that's what I did there. And now I'm going to do, um, I'm going to show the BMI. And we'll do a message box for now. Show your calculated BMI is the plus BMI. Okay, else, we'll do another message box. Dot show, but um, there was a problem with your form. And then we're going to put a plus results. And that's all we need to do because the results has captured every possible error that was there. So if it's valid, we get our total height, we calculate the BMI, we show the user what it is with a pop-up window. Otherwise, we show the user there's an error. So let's go ahead and we haven't done any uh, testing yet. Let's go ahead and test it out. Let's click on start. Should pop our form up. And sometime today. There we go. Let's try to get the BMI. Oh, there's a problem with our form. Please enter your weight number format. B. Okay. So we got all of that. Let's click OK. So let's just put the wrong thing. We'll put, you know, like, well, let's we'll put, we'll just put six. Or 6M. And you'll see here, if I put in two in the wrong format, all it does is show me the errors for the two that are in the incorrect format. Notice it doesn't do the others. Uh, and then so we'll put six on here, and we'll put zero inches, get BMI, and now it gives us the BMI. So it works correctly if you give it the right input. Uh, and let's test it out. We'll go back to that page, and on here they gave us an example. Weight of 150 pounds, a height of 5 foot 5 inches, should give us 24.96. So let's try it. We'll put 150, 5, 5, get BMI 24.96 if you round it. So let's go ahead and round it now. So on he here, all we have to do is put math.round. Oops, wrong one. And we give it uh, the decimal. And so let's just see. I think we have to give it two arguments. Um, yep, we have to give it that, the BMI, and then how many decimal points we want to take it out. Let's put it to two decimal points. Uh, try it out. Oh, we have a problem with that. What's our problem? Oh, another parentheses. One fifty five zero get BMI twenty nine point nine. Is that one? oh five point five? And now twenty four point nine six. There we go. We've got that one done. All right, um, we already have this working. I'm going to go ahead and put a backslash n so you get an extra line return, make it stand out a little bit more. And the last thing we, we want to do is instead of doing a message box, let's convert this to just displaying text. And we need to go back to our form. Uh, we haven't done the clear form. I'll show you what to do that in there in just a moment. Um, so let's go ahead and put results. We need a label. Line it up with these. Bring this out. Do we already have a results label? I don't think we do. Good. We don't. It would have told us. And of course, you write whatever you want. Let's make this bold. Open this up. Bold equals true. And then we need one more label, and that's going to be BMI.
It's the BMI label. And on the BMI label, what we're going to do is get rid of the text there. So now we can't see it, so it's kind of scary. It's like, where did it go? I don't know. But that's okay. It's still there. Let's go back to the form, and instead, we'll comment this out. And we'll put um, BMI label dot text equals... And then we'll put uh, we'll put the math dot round BMI comma two dot to string. We need to convert that to a string and what I get too many of these. There we go. So let's try it one more time. Start it, plug it in, 150, 5, oops, 5, get BMI, results, 24.96. Now, clear form doesn't work, so we'll close it. And the last thing we'll do is clear form. So we go back to the form on our design mode, and we're going to double-click the clear form button. And on here, what we're going to do is we're going to set all the text of all our various forms uh, to nothing. So it's uh, the boxes. Wait box. Wait box dot text equals nothing. Uh, feet box dot text equals nothing. Inches box dot text equals nothing. And let's go ahead and make the BMI label dot text equals nothing. And that should clear it up. So let's go ahead and try it now. Clear form. Perfect. Got all of our error handling. Could try to break it, but we're doing a pretty good job. 155, 55, get BMI. There's our results here. I think it was 150. Let's clear the form, and it clears out the results. We're good to go.